Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a game called Fortune Fighters. This is a short, simple, sweet game where you are going to be competing against other players in fistfights. However, there is a wacky twist. This game relies on deck building to a pretty alright extent. In the beginning, you and all other players in the match will be able to choose a few cards. These cards are pulled from your own deck of cards, and depending on how you want to play, you get to choose which ones you want to have on your player. Cards will have different rarities, such as common, uncommon, rare, and legendary. Different cards will have different effects or some wild abilities. Something like a stat boost, damage increase, life leech, a teleport, or something else in between. The more copies of a card that you have during a match, the more likely a current of it will increase. A current as in chance base, so if you have something that has a probability of stunning an enemy, then the more cards you have of that card, the more likely you are to stun an enemy. However, default cards such as damage increase cards will just constantly increase the damage output that you have. However, there is a card in the game that does increase your chances of getting higher rarity cards throughout the match. Speak about getting cards, you will obtain a card every time you lose a round. If you win a round, you'll keep your cards and all remaining losing players will get a chance to try and up their stats just a little bit. So if you perform well, you'll have less cards. If you perform worse, the game's gonna try to help you. This doesn't mean you're at a huge disadvantage, it just means you have a pretty better understanding of hand-to-hand -hand combat than the other players. I myself have been able to push out a few matches against players without doing any upgrades. Regardless of the match, it is a very fun game to build a deck of cards and to build a really powerful loadout at the end of the match, and this is a game that I would really recommend if you're looking for something wacky and fun. Now if you're wondering about obtaining cards, you can obtain cards through currency. You gain currency at the end of a match and you can obtain the cards through purchasing a card pack or by purchasing a direct ability from the shop. Abilities are different from cards. Abilities are similar to your dash and your parry, which are key bound. You can have one ability selected, but you can have pretty much every single card selected in your deck. Just note that the more cards you have, the more or less likely you will be able to actually get duplicates of a card during a match. It'll be harder to build with a full deck of cards compared to trying to build with a very slim down selection. And that's pretty much it. The game right now is straightforward and still in development. However, it's a very fun experience. Give this game a try, grab some friends and have some fun. I hope you found a new and fun game to play. And that's all from me. I will see ya.